Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Christian Cole, and I will be leading today's press conference. In, in this case, you are actually going to witness and see the signing of the United States Heavyweight Championship match that will take place tomorrow at Strong Style Evolve. Just a couple of rules to go over with you guys. If you guys don't mind, to please silence your cell phones during the press conference. We also ask that you do not take video during the press conference. Photographs will be okay, but video will not be allowed. Thank you very much. All right? At this time, I would like to welcome the president of LEC, Mr. Takaki Nagamori, to the ring. Mr. Nagamori is going to bear witness for our signing of the United States Championship match tomorrow as Strong Style Evolved. At this time, I'd like to welcome the challenger for tomorrow's match. Please welcome to the ring, Hangman Page! And now at this time, I'd like to welcome the IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. This is Jay White. Tomorrow as New Japan Pro Wrestling makes history yet again at Strong Style of All from Long Beach, California, these two men will compete for the United States Championship. First, I have a question for you, Mr. Page. What are your thoughts on tomorrow's match against Switchblade and Jay White? You know, I thought a lot about what I wanted to come here and say today. I thought about little catchphrases and things like that I could say. I thought about doing what everybody expects and flipping this table over and attacking you before our match. I thought about that too, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna level with you, Jen. What are your plans as the IWGP United States Champion? Mm, uh, don't look on your face. That's all you've got. Those are your plans as the United States Champion. Let me tell you something, I'm gonna level with you because I don't think you ever wanted to be the United States Champion. You wanted to beat Kenny Omega and you did that. It's the best wrestler in I will not take that away from you. But you did not plan on becoming the representative of New Japan Pro Wrestling in the United States of America. When are you going to defend this? I'm like assuming you think you can beat me. When are you going to defend this in America next? Another double. You don't know. 
when you'll defend it in America next. I read every single one of your interviews you did leading up to this event, and everything you said, you said that you loved wrestling in Japan because that was your home, Jay. You are the United States champion. You are the representative of New Japan at this company. And you said that you love to wrestle in Japan because that's your home. You are not a representative of New Japan in America. And certainly not the way that I could be. Jay, I could take that title from you. Back home to North Carolina, I can take it to Virginia. I'll take it to Florida. I'll go to New York. I'll get Ring of Honor to run a show out here in the West Coast, and I'll defend it here. I'll take it to bar wrestling if I want to do that. Because I'm not tied down by the kind of contract that you are. When New Japan tells you to defend your title, you do it. When New Japan tells you to come to America once a year, you do that. I live here. I will be here with that title every day. And I know I'm making a lot of bold claims, so I'll make one more. This is the United States change. And I will take it. For better or worse, in the American way, I will do whatever I have to do to get what I want. ここにすぐ横にいる でも Thank you for the translation, Miss. Jay, Alvisan has a microphone for you there. I just asked that you would respond. Let's start with how we got here and how you got here in a new Japan show. You talk about being a representative for New Japan in America. You would be the best. That's what you just said, as the champion. How did you get started with New Japan? Was it through having outstanding matches and beating guys on the way up? Or was it because you affiliated yourself with the Bullet Club? So think about that. I can see everyone else is thinking about that now as well. I actually read uh, one of your interviews recently. You said that you haven't had many singles matches recently. And why is that? Because you're constantly in the Bullet Club's shadow. More specifically, the Young Bucks' shadow. So, talk about how we got here. This match, this opportunity you have, is because you, you claim to beat me. You pinned me, but you didn't beat me. Your team beat me. See, if my memory serves correct, I had you ready for the Blade Runner, and then who came in and saved your ass? The Young Bucks. The greatest tag team in the world, not just in the junior division, in the world. They came in and saved you, then you got the pimple, and that's how you have this opportunity. You are constantly in their shadow. You're always in tag matches with them. I, didn't, you, I think you recently lost the six-man tag title. Is that right? Uh -huh. So you're in their shadow. Wherever the Young Bucks are, just trotting along behind them will be Adam Page. You do what they tell you to. You do what Cody tells you to. And as far as I'm concerned, forget Brandy, your Cody's real bitch. 
It's okay, it's okay. I'll take it back down a little bit from there. <laughs> Look at the state of the Buddha Club. You said to yourself, I beat the greatest wrestler in the world, Kenny Omega. I told everyone I would do it, no one believed me. I told everyone what would happen when I beat them. And as soon as that match was done, you came out. Kenny took that belt out of your hands and gave it to me. You had word with him. Straight away, Cody attacks Kenny. Like I said, the Bullet Club would crumble, and straight away they did. Look at the state of it now. The Young Bucks are fighting with the guy who's supposed to be their brother, their best friend, that worked so hard together. Cody's ego and his head are just constantly inflating. So now he's the leader of the Bullet Club? Uh, isn't he like one of the newest members yet yeah, he's trying to say he's the leader? I'm sure guys like Bad Luck Fale and Tamatonga might have a slightly different opinion. Maybe you should talk to him about that, seeing as you guys are all in the same group there. I mean, who else is there? You're talking about bar wrestling? All the stuff I hear about you recently, you've got some sort of issue going on about another guy and his penis, right? <laughs> So are you focused on this? Is this what really matters to you? Or are you focused about getting views on YouTube through someone else's program they were nice enough to bring you in on? <laughs> that was the Young Bucks. That was the Young Bucks and Kenny. That was nothing to do with Adam Page. Who else is there? Marty thinks he's a bird. <laughs> Chase thinks he's Tongan. There is no way that you've been able to prepare for this match, for this title, and have a clear mind. There's too much stuff going on in your personal life with the Bullet Club, with the Elite. Too much going on. You're going to find out tomorrow just what Kenny Omega found out. That I'm on another level to what people think I am. And look, take nothing away from you. I know it's going to be a hard fight. I know you're going to bring it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to beat you. I'm saying it right now, so you should all believe me this time. I'm going to beat you and show you that you were just not quite ready to step out in the spotlight by yourself. At the end of the day, you'll be lying in the ring, gasping for a breath, but all you'll be able to do, all you can do, is breathe with the switchblade, baby. アメリカでなんかすごい試合をして新日本のでも俺はそのバレットクラブのリーダーであるケニオメガを倒した。それができるということはその試合が終わるまで誰も信じてくれなかったけれども、その試合の後自分のベルトをお前が奪いに来てくれた。その意味をお前は本当に理解しているのかな。
What type of conditioning do you feel going into tomorrow? How do you feel physically, mentally, spiritually before your match with Hangman Page? Hey, I'm great. I'd have to go ask other guys permission before I go do something. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down, guys. Let's get the contract in here. We'll get these two to sign it. As per the tradition, we would like to have the challenger sign first. So, Mr. Hangman Page, will you please sign the contract? Hangman Page has signed his side of the contract, and now please, for the champion, Switchblade Jay White, will you please sign the contract? And finally, Mr. T Takaki Nagamori, as bear witness to this contract, it is now fully executed. We do have a match tomorrow at Strong Style Evolved. It'll be Hangman. Page versus Jay White for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship.